I'm one of seven children. We spent most of our days in the forest, um, just running around in the woods and getting lost and then getting found again. And I think if I were to really trace back the origins of my singing career, it probably started then and there, serenading fairies. It took a long time for me to decide to uh, start expressing the world as I saw it and the world as I felt it. And um, I think probably a pivotal point for, for my art was one, um, the death of a very close friend. And a second uh, turning point for the, for the art that I've been doing was uh, discovering the, my actual identity as being non-binary and genderqueer. It kind of flipped my world upside down and all at once made the entire world make sense. Um, I went from feeling completely alien, alienated from how I existed on this planet to finally finding grace and satisfaction and seeing the beauty and everything because of the difference that was within me um, instead of in spite of it. Um, I'm, I'm getting ready to graduate SUNY Ulster now and since being there I've tapped into uh, visual arts with charcoal drawings and soft pastels, a sculpture, just about everything I can get my hands on, painting, um, and also delved more into my music world. It's really blown my mind open. For instance, if you want to paint the sunlight on a rose, you want to know how the rose actually looks from the point of view of the sun, just as much as it does from where you're sitting. Currently I have two musical projects going on. The first one was formed with my partner who, you know, we met and within, oh, two weeks, I think he proposed. And, you know, that's been a beautiful fairy tale. But we started doing music immediately together. We've done everything from acapella works with just like haunting sounds to just kind of doing remixes of old songs and hymns um, and collaborating to, to write really um, cool, unique sounds like like taking really slow old sounds and like him putting like a hip hop beat to it. Like you'll never know what we'll do, but it's gonna be probably dark, probably moody. Probably the thing that I love most about art, no matter what medium, is that I think that they are spells. I think that if you make a thing, whether it's a poem, whether it's a painting, with intention behind it, you can bring stuff to life. You can, you can have things come into fruition. Um, if you have a wish, if you have a hope, if you have um, a pain that you want to heal, it's the thing that draws me most to art. It's, it's infatuating, it's intoxicating, is understanding how good it can be to you and how good it can be to others. Ooh.